Welcome back to the very 18th episode of Prince of the Dead. Yes. So, um, we have some very ineffective clamps. Yes. Clamp, clamp, clamp. And even though we, yeah, yeah. it's a shame because we already donated an entire episode to the clamps mm -hmm. and they don't work. They don't work. So let's uh, try and figure out what what we need to do. Yeah, we need to trap the dice so they don't roll. Yeah, that's right. So we have a game and we have some re-roll event here. Yes, and possibly even a test for it. Oh yes, for sure. I just wanted to take a look. We have re-roll, re-roll allowed, and then we just do all the dice. Yeah. Um, so that ain't right. That ain't right. Re-roll. Uh, rolling the dice. Okay, cool. I will. Okay, this yeah. is a sort of a, a big test. I don't want to like have this many times over. No, Could but... we just lock one of them right here? Or do we want another separate test for it? How do you feel about that? Um, yeah, we can lock one of them here. Yeah, let's do that. So it's That will illustrate that the unlocked die will be re-rolled. So. Yeah. So I will do like this. So die number one is locked. And this is how it is marked as locked also by the game? No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't, I, well, I don't really remember. Set die <laughs> locked. Yeah, look, we, we already did that. I don't re really remember. I just wrote something. And, yeah. yeah, but this isn't it. It's test-driven development. We just uh, <laughs> yeah. ride along the guard ra guardrails. Yeah, yeah. Banging <laughs> our heads in the wall. <laughs> so there's your test. Yeah. And um, this is not the reality of the situation. So I will go here to here, this function. Mm -hmm. And I will simply do a little bit of a filter in here. Mm -hmm. So filter, no, Rem remove, mm. locked. I think that should be about it. <laughs> so do nice we feature. think it actually works now? If so, then this will be the shortest episode. <laughs> <laughs> then we can do something else. You can try re-rolling already, I think. Oh, yes. Wow, it just worked. Why didn't we do that at the end of the last episode? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Know. But now I can't re-roll anymore. So at this point, something needs to happen. Yeah, so the idea here is that you um, there might be several zombies uh, mm -hmm. after a while, or maybe we start with several of them. Uh, but you have to click on the zombie that you want to punch. And nothing's happening. Yeah. And wh why is he missing two hearts? I think that's just our test data. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> okay. you should probably start with full life and then we punch yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah. then, yeah. Uh, obviously, he starts not with full life. Is that <laughs> how I would describe it? But uh, that's true. Yeah. It's full on life. Anyway, we click here, then we deliver some uh, punches. Yes, that's and it. <laughs> some other stuff, but we'll focus on punches in the beginning, I think. that's So if I save this one, mm -hmm. and then I save... Ooh, ooh, lots of punches. These. So at this point, wow. Oh, it's a punch delicious. <laughs> that's a eight damage. That would kill him. Yeah, it's a delivery of punches. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir, you have a delivery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So uh, how do we know that this, this is, these are eight punches that we need to deliver? That's a good place to start. Mm -hmm. So yeah, given a bunch of dice, what kinds of effect do they represent? Yeah, that's good. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, where in our world does that live? That's just somewhere. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, probably higher up than update game and reroll uh, because yeah. we're going to need it somewhere. Like core game features. And also, I don't want to start with implementation. I'll start with the test. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So this uh, yeah, get uh, die. Um, uh, die effects. I'll yeah, just, die effects. Okay. So dev test, uh, get die effects. Mm -hmm. And do like this. Mm -hmm. um, so what do we want to get out from uh, I'll wait with the name let's see what the test does first Yeah. get die effects and I guess we should send in the entire game yeah send in probably the... or yeah. just the dies um, I, uh, maybe we don't want to call it die effects cause... well I think maybe just um, just looking at the dice um, and only those 
yeah could be get die effects and maybe there will be more effects later right because yeah there definitely will because yeah. we will have like items and items stuff. that will uh, multiply and stuff so okay so isolating it to just the die effects and then then passing in just dies yeah so that then it will just receive this map here yeah but this is not an <laughs> enough information for for this test it's true it needs so, some faces in the current phase uh, show me your current face okay this looks yeah, good this one looks good so if i send in this stuff i should receive something out and then what does that something look like so this oh no uh we can start with um some kind of map yeah, so we have a current phase one which is heal and current phase two which is shields okay that's a bad example let's start with the punching yeah uh, this one and then zero one let's two just, three four. Let's just do just one die right now. Okay, and it's a face. So so this is one punch. Yeah. So maybe punches. Yeah. One. I think we might need more information. Yeah, because uh, if I don't remember, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, we want to highlight the dice as they're being used. Yeah, that's the idea. Uh, there's a, there's like a used and uh, using and used classes. Yeah, so we the, so we want to know. So punches maybe it should be something like this then. Yeah. Like, um, um, value. Um, or yeah, hit points. Value. I think uh, I think value can be used also for healing and yeah, yeah, for sure, shields sure. and so on. And then we can have dice like this. Yeah. And then it could be die zero yeah, dice IDs. And the die IDs. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Diodes. So yeah, this is good. Then we then we will know the like total effect and what dice are affected by this. Yeah, well, what dice. And are then later used. maybe we could have like uh, you know modifiers and this can be this can be expanded upon. expanded upon at some point. Okay, so we take all the dice and we get out like how many punches. That looks great. Yes, let's so, go for it. This is what I want, and the, this function does not exist. It doesn't. Let's do something about it. Um, Just uh, passed on a chance to use from example. I'm sorry. Um, so these are dice. Uh, dice map. <laughs> Would you be very angry with me if I do this? Uh, no, that's fine. The Someone map... has to do vowels either way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th this is fine. Yeah, call it dice. Because, then because it's dice. Uh, the map in the game is really just there so we can address it because we don't have a database yeah yeah so i will do the cheeky bit and do this <laughs> and i will write another one for you thanks a lot in fact i will expand just expand this, this yeah, yeah so we don't need one useless test i agreed so this is test uh two separate punches yes and then you need to uh, add the die id yes something like this Yes. So fun fact, du, as you just wrote, is pigeon in Norwegian. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted you to know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Okay, so I want to get to the punches. So here I'll just do... Okay, I'll do dice and filter. Um, current phase. And you need to face this. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna need something like uh, current face. Current face, yeah. Die. Mm -hmm. Which can do. Which is basically nth. Faces mm -hmm. die, and then nth, like you said, in there. And then nth takes its uh, arguments in the wrong order. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> current face, die. Mm hmm. Yes, like that. And then, so I want to filter by current phase punch at this point. Yeah. Can I do this? Mm hmm. And uh, those are the dice. Yes, you now have the punch dice. Punch dice. Uh, yuck. Okay, like that. Mm -hmm. And then. Um, I will just do count. Uh, yeah, I can do count. Yeah, mm. that's <laughs> this is not the final solution, if I may say so. No, <laughs> I probably shouldn't. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> um, 
Uh, and then we have an ID of the punch dice, <laughs> and I want to put it into a set. Lovely, lovely set. Okay, wow, nice. So there we go. So I will now up the ante here. Mm -hmm. A separate punch and a, a double punch. Mm -hmm. So, and that is the uh, fourth phase, I think. Yes. And now the value should be three. That's right. Because it's you can't just count the dice anymore. That's true. Let's see. So I will do uh, punches here to include it. And now we should get two. Uh, but the count... So we have like a punch value. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to do apply plus map punch value on the punch uh, dice. Yes. And this gets a dice. And we have to once again check the current phase. But that's fine. Case... Yeah current phase of the die. Uh, this isn't dice, this is die. Mm -hmm. And we have punches one. So this is nice because now we're building two. out a little bit of like domain logic where we can get rid of dice forever. Yeah. So the rest of the game doesn't need to know about dice. They can just know about like the effects of the dice. Yeah. yeah so now we can get the die effects just for punches for now. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we know how hard to hit the zombie that you click on. Yeah. For another time. That's for another time. So, episode 18. And uh, remember to punch your loved ones. No, <laughs> no, no. 